Awesome Sanford Greeden with us. Uh, you might recognize him from some of his comics that he has, the Eisner, Eisner winner with uh, Bitter Root and everything like that. Uh, we're excited to have him with us. He's going to play our game. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Cyborg. Um, honestly, I knew a Cyborg before, uh, from the cartoons before the comics. <clears throat> but oh, yeah. For the comic, it just kind of brought everything home together for me. Because again, as a kid, you're putting it all together and you realize, wait a minute, all these things are, you know, um, interconnected. And uh, naturally, seeing him on TV was one aspect of seeing a character of color and then seeing myself in many ways in that character. But uh, it brought it home even more when I went to the local Kmart, and my mom left me to uh, a spinner rack that I saw there and saw that <laughs> comic on the spinner rack. And I'm like, nice. I was blown because it's, it's like, wait a minute, he's on TV. <laughs> I didn't know his name. I just I called him Robot Man, I think. I yeah, it worked. Do, you, do you feel like sometimes they do that where they try to force a character? A, like a black character into a role. Like, I know that's a big, that's always a controversy in comics. Like, are they forcing the character or is it? Yeah. I, it. I think it all depends on the zeitgeist, if you will. I think sometimes it can seem a little um, bit of a kind of a fan service kind of thing to some degree. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, guys, look what we have here. We have another. But um, if you can help it make sense, mm -hmm. you know, like, let's just be honest. The, the, the most prominent one in terms of change is, um, in my opinion, is Sam Wilson as Captain America. Yeah, right? Yeah. You know, um, it made sense. You know, if you really think about it, because it wasn't like he was kind of just showed up one day and became Captain America. Um, but he literally was at Cap's side from the beginning. Yeah, other, than Bucky, other than Bucky, that was his that was his dude, right? And you know, you see them playing on the, the whole uh, I'm gonna switch my order of the books I was I gonna thought you might. based on what we were just talking about because <laughs> <laughs> Miles is a very good point. Miles yeah. got a lot of heat. Like when he first came first came out, like there was like, oh, what what is this new character you're making Spidey? Why, 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 why? Yeah. But the hit, like what he's grown into, like naturally, not forced. Like over these last, I don't know, how long has he been out? Like 10? 2011. Yeah, at least so, yeah. 10, right? close to 10 years now. Close to 10 so, years, yeah. I have his regular first there, but it's not a great cover. So I like the second print because you get to see his face. Like uh, I like this one. Like I like him them revealing like he looks like a kid. He looks like a scared kid who's thrown into the situation, and it's something that's like easily relatable to. And it still kind of connects that thread to Peter Parker to kind of being above his, you know, everything being above his head. Like he's right. like thrown into situations that are just way beyond what he should be doing. He should be being a kid, but he just feels the responsibility given these powers to do some good with them. And right. it's just it's easily to relate. And he's, he's a likable character. I I like but him. But I remember it, when this came out, people it, it caused an uproar. People were mad. Yeah, sure. They were so mad that Peter Parker was killed and he's being replaced by a black kid. Like that made so many people mad that were all about the legacy, even though it was in completely was it six one six? Uh what Ultimate Universe was like a different number. But any of you guys have this uh version? Oh, I no. do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Oh, I have like every other hip hop variant, but that one. It got, I can't get my hands on it. It's too hot right now. Yeah, this thing is so um, cool. Story, I guess, is a cool story. Is to get, and I've I've been offered to, uh, to uh, people wanted to do commissions, um, you know, read uh, remakes of uh, the cover, which 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 are cool. I haven't done any of them yet, but uh, okay. That's and the plan is to do that when I have a little bit more time. But yeah, um, 
I, I, I bet, uh, Mike, you got you got yourself a copy of this right here. <laughs> <laughs> I do, sir. I do. I have a very nice copy of it as well. It is, man. Uh, be, I mean, I think it, uh, you know, it's, it's again, it's one of those books that like the Black Panther, it has that sort of black exploitation film cover yeah. feel to it. It is, uh, and, and, you know, uh, so I teach in Nashville, I teach a wide variety of students and, and I, I love to, to delve into the, just all cultures. I mean, I have probably 20, 30 different cultures in my room at any one time. Mm. And, and I don't pretend to know anything about anything uh, other than being white and that that ain't that ain't all that interesting these days so um, you know I want I want to learn about that stuff and then I didn't really know all, all that much about Luke Cage before they announced the show and man I think they blew that show out of the water I thought it was fantastic it was cast perfectly it had the right vibe the soundtrack was unbelievable and I was like, okay, I need to, I need to learn more about this character. And, and I went out and I, I got myself a copy of that. And man, I really love it. And I was really bummed out. Like I had a really rough day the day I found out they canceled the show. Mm-hmm. And because uh, it was, it was honestly my favorite. I thought it was the most visceral of all of them. Yeah. I thought it was just really, really well done. And uh, and so yeah. So most of the books like that, most keys that I buy, I don't, I don't buy them because they're worth money. I, I buy them because there's some reason why I want them. <laughs> <laughs> thank you really though so much for your time you yeah, really spent a lot of time with us tonight we really appreciate it oh thank you man please by all means edit this thing down so- yeah, i'll do my best to trim it down but it, it was fun i i still think people are gonna just love just watching yeah. some of that comedy. it's good stuff man it's hard to trim out good stuff everyone likes a 10 minute bathroom break that's like the best part of the show right? <laughs> that one, I'll, I'll take out that i was singing trip. you guys weren't there i had a conversation with your son he, he came in we talked for a little bit and i believe, I don't believe you on that i think especially you know, people come in and be like who are you guys what do you want to say? 